In this video I will show you how to fix your controller not working when playing games from the Epic Games Launcher. Since that launcher still doesn't have controller support, for this method we will need Steam to act as a middleman between our controller and Epic Games. So you will need to get the Steam application. If you don't have it yet, go over to your browser and search for Steam, then download it and just run the installer. It's very simple. Afterwards, you might be asked to create an account or log in. Do that. Now, after you have gotten inside of Steam, you navigate to the top left and press the Steam button, then press Settings. And once you get right here, go over to Controller and make sure you enable Steam input for the controller that you're using. If you're using an Xbox One, select this. If you're using a PlayStation One, just turn on this, like this, and find your exact one. After you have enabled it, you can close this tab, then go over to library. Now after you get inside of library, navigate to the bottom left and press add a game. Then press add a non-steam game. Then in this menu right here, scroll down and look for the Epic Games launcher. If you can't locate Epic Games right here, just press the browse button. Right here you will need to navigate to your Epic Games installation folder, but if you don't know the location, you can go to the bottom left of your screen, press the search button. In here write Epic Games. Then navigate to the top and right click the application, then press open file location and when you get right here just right click the application, then press properties and copy all of the text in the target section besides the epicgameslauncher.exe text, so everything before it, right click copy, then you can close both of these, then get back to the browse window we just opened up, press the location at the top, and just right click and paste what you just copied, then press the enter button. Then you will be redirected to the installation folder, select Epic Games, then press the open button. And then you will need to check this box right here, and after you have done that, just press add selected programs. So now, before you run your Epic Games launcher, you will go over to Steam, select it in your library, then press the play button, and once it launches, you can launch your games for straight from the Epic Games launcher, now you can try and open up your game and see if the controller finally works. If you're having some problems with your controller, what you can do is make sure your controllers are fully charged if you're using them wirelessly. If you're using them wired, maybe there is a problem with your USB port, try changing to another one. If that didn't help, you can also try changing your cable. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.